I'm going to be showing a whole bunch of leaks for this update. And first, we'll start off with the Quad Blade Strider Toilet. So this is the one that has all four blades. And here is what it looks like. I think this one is one of the coolest looking toilets. And of course, it's probably going to be pretty strong. The stun time isn't going to be super long. But it can only really attack one unit at once since it uses all four blades on like one thing, I guess. But it's going to have a lot of health and be in the later waves. Then there is also the Parasite Helicopter Skivvy Toilet, which we made this one look funny just because, just I don't know, it looks funny. Just look at his face. Well, anyways, this is going to be the first toilet in the game that can actually not just stun, but infect units. So how it will work is when it infects the unit, it's going to like stay on the unit's neck and basically just make it not able to attack for a while. But of course it can be damaged and after a short period of time, it will go off back to the track and find another unit to infect. So these aren't really going to be bad for dealing damage to. They're not going to be super strong, but the big problem is since they infect your unit, it can't actually fight against the toilets anymore. So, um, if you only have a couple units that are upgraded instead of a decent variety of units down, then it might be pretty annoying to deal with, especially if your units don't have a lot of range, because by the time it gets close, well, it's going to infect your unit. So for these, we'd probably have to add a normal pair toilet which we most likely will at some point anyways next unit is the dark speaker man so this one much like the ninja cameraman is just gonna be a much stronger version probably gonna make the dark speaker man like an extremely cheap to upgrade legendary unit but the max dps is not gonna be high at all like the large speaker man goes up to 800 dps with not that much range so this one's kind of gonna be similar to that i guess but it's definitely gonna be cheaper than the ninja cameraman to max out probably not as high range or damage though it's just gonna be like a really good unit to start off with then after that is a very unique unit this one's actually gonna be an exclusive we don't add too many exclusive units even the game has been almost out for a month we only have three so far well then we also have a crate but like we haven't added one for a while so we're gonna be adding this one as another unit that can heal stuff so right now we have an extremely easy to get unit that can heal your troops which is the medic it's actually the only an epic 488,000 exists it is very common and also very good this is gonna be kind of similar but operate in a different way so it's gonna be able to heal your units much faster but not infinitely so like I saw in one of the skivvy toilet episodes basically it uses some sort of like laser energy to do repairs on I think it was the Titan cameraman in that episode or maybe that was when they were building it but it just uses like cool lasers to repair things which made me think of like giving it a bad battery so it's gonna be able to charge up to 100% every second it charges up by a certain percent and the max percent that it can reach is 100 so the only stats this will have is energy regeneration range and attack speed so it's gonna start out attacking really fast and at the end it's probably gonna have like 0.1 percent attack speed so the lightning will be able to repair your units well make them not stun anymore very quickly and it will have an attack where it uses 50% of the energy if there's a parasite but it like just completely gets rid of the parasite. So this unit is going to be very, very unique. Now the last thing we're adding, the last thing we're adding is the camera rover, which this isn't going to be a new unit because like it's just basically a car controlled by the cameraman. So it doesn't really have a mind of its own, much like the camera toilets and camera toilets already spawned from engineer cameraman. So this is just going to be, okay, so not only is engineer cameraman going to be buff, but this will be at level one of the engineer cameraman instead of, well, current Currently, the first three levels have the small camera toilet, levels four and five have the normal camera toilet, and level six has the electromagnetic parasite disabler tank, which we may also make the parasite disabler tank do extra damage to parasites. I'm thinking like 10 times damage, so right now the tank actually does 2k DPS, but if it did 10 times, that'd be 20,000 damage per second, which is pretty much as good as the upgraded Titan cameraman, so I'd say that'd totally be worth it for the helicopter parasite toilets. We could always change numbers a little bit to balance stuff even farther but i think that's a pretty fair start for now for that to do 10 times damage that's like the main goal of the parasite disabler tank but 
anyways, by the time you're watching this video, it's probably like 10 hours until the update if you're watching when it first came out. But we're gonna be updating tomorrow at 10 a.m. PST. So like, you'll know what time that is for you. I guess just like go in the game, look at the timer, and then you can see in how long the update is. And a lot of people have still been asking about trading. That will probably be the update after next update if everything goes right. Of course, things could go wrong and it could get delayed or something. But we're gonna try adding that. And once we do add trading, we'll probably end a very soon update after that. Add like a trading plaza. Because in my opinion, the lobby is kind of chaotic. But like if we had a trading plaza, especially if we added cool features, like maybe the trading lobby could be sorted by coins only instead of wins. And we could add other cool trading features like booths where you can sell stuff. Maybe even if we, okay, this is really complicated, but I've seen a few games do it before. Like a marketplace system where you could buy people's stuff on booths from other servers. Like we'd look into a lot of really cool ideas when we add trading. But the first thing we add for trading is probably just going to be a button on the side that says trading. And then you can like trade your units and coins for other units and coins. But the main things we'd have to look out for, we'd have to make sure you can't duplicate items. And we'd have to look out for like other weird hacks that start coming out regarding trading and duplication and stuff. So we'll try our best to make sure that trading has no issues when we first release it. But I guess that's pretty much it for the video. So make sure to subscribe with notifications on, like the video. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.